start and the design with the girl in the underwater ocean thingy I am currently watching Grimm with nothing much to do anyways let me just talk about this hair and I just realized some stuff are getting into the photos mainly because I was leaning on the table I usually do that but uh, I've never had a camera facing this much this way and I really didn't want this to happen. Anyway, I did a speed through of it, so it's gonna go a bit faster, but then I did the plants and stuff inside, which admittedly took up a lot of time. And um, I was thinking about painting it in skin color, but then I was like, um, I wanted her to be a different shade of color and she's underwater, so, um, someone who is breathing on the water obviously isn't gonna be alive she's gonna be dead like really dead type of dead so i decided to put her as that while i fill in the plants i was looking back and trying to get the drawings i wanted to put in turtles and everything else that i did but of course i didn't have enough space and i know i could have just crumbed everything in but i decided not to maybe later on i'm going to do a bigger version of this hair where i can put in everything and maybe put in more fishes because i think the whole idea of being underwater you should be able to see more fishes but um then again she's a human underwater and she's a dead human underwater so uh, i think she scared away the fishes and only the bravest are swimming around her i also put some bubbles to the fishes i wasn't sure if um fishes give off bubbles when they're underwater i mean i had an aquarium when i was little but still i've never really noticed that and uh, there are some other stuff <sighs> Anyway, uh, like I said, I'm watching Grimm and it's getting pretty interested. However, I did try to color thing with the markers like I would on these um, ink paper and look who came to visit us. This is Loki and he is my puppy, my our new puppy. And he's just bad and very playful and energetic and he stopped in to say hi but he couldn't stick around and I was just playing with him because the video is in time lapse and it's a bit speed. It looks like I was being a bit too hard on him, but I really wasn't. I had to put him down back and 
he continued to bite on my feet which were dangling off the chair. I really did try to color this in with markers but um, I just don't like how it looked on markers. I mean it feels as though the ink is running out when I'm using it on these on this paper but I'm using it, on, using it on the other paper it just moves so smooth and nice and I, I don't know why what's the difference between the two so I decided to open up my um, water palette and just paint now with that even though I also hate painting with water paint on this because when I do the liner and then I do the water paint it just I don't like the way it looks it just blocks everything up and then I'm just gonna have to go in back with line work again anyway I painted these green the way I wanted it to be and then I would have to go in and paint the other colors and I really think that I could have done more in the background it kind of looks a bit plain I should have done more in the background <laughs> Anyway, I'm still trying to fix this. There will be a um, there will be a photo of the line work at the end of this video, so you can um, take a screenshot and print it out or trace it and color it in with whatever you would like. Whatever way you would like to color it in, you can do so with the line work at the end of it and maybe if you want to add in a few more stuff you can do so and again if you ever do it and you want to send me how it looks i would be very happy and you could do so by sending it to my um email address oh i just realized the blue looks like gray on the camera it's all blue but now looking at it it looks like gray and that blue that I love so much because of um, how it looks off the camera it just looks so pretty but now looking at it through here it just looks a bit weird and I think that's because the camera wasn't focusing anyway I realized that at the back was a bit too empty and not a nice way to end off the reef area so I went in and I just added in some more and she's walking on some stones but I didn't really know how to paint in the stones so I did them in a bunch of different colors from black to brown to a lighter brown to a type of a yellow brownish color and then I fill in the spots with gray but you're not really seeing the gray it just looks like brown but there are some distinct pattern from it and now I just realized that I painted that entire thing in green because I got so distracted with how pretty the green looks like I just like it is like a kind of yellowish green and filling the other parts with brown then we have our very pretty little seahorses and I just realized that uh, this seahorse towards the right corner doesn't have that little ear fin while the others do so that's why it looks so weird like I was wondering why does this guy look so weird from the others but then I just realized oh that's why it doesn't have in the little ear fin or whatever that is that's in the corner and then I went in and painted the entire background in blue oh I did I put in some whales those are actually whales but because they're so far into the background because we know whales are these dry sorry enormous creatures and so that's what I decided to do put them in in that um, way that you're just gonna see like a dark outline of them because they're so far away and even though they're so far away they're actually still so big and then when it came to the hair I could have painted the hair an next color but I decided that I was gonna go with green I really don't know why and then her little bondage top which in one of my video I um no actually I didn't show the bondage how to draw that part before but I will and then I decided to paint her skin kind of like a bluish color because she is underwater so you know she's dead her skin isn't going to be brown or black or anything so I decided to give her this sort of greenish bluish color skin and went in with white to show some spots that were standing out a bit and finally the camera focused a bit and I really think I messed her eyes up here because they are the nib of the pen was so fat and her eyes are like so tiny that I really didn't like what I did with it 
I, I don't know, I just don't like what happened to it there. And um, I did a drawing that is behind the desk, but you're not here for that drawing. You're here for her. I was thinking about the name, and I was thinking maybe I could name her Aqua, but Aqua sounds so subtle. It just sounds so cliche. So maybe Mer for a mermaid. So I think her name's going to be Mer. M E R I. That is Marie. No, M E R. Mer. And the fishes, I wanted to um, do the stripes in black, but I couldn't because, like I said, the pen tip was really too fat. It wouldn't have done. So I tried, but I really wasn't getting the results I wanted. And I just went over in the went over the black to put some distinctions and while I went over with this black gelling pen I noticed the ears that was missing and I tried filling it in but it doesn't look as good as the others and I put over back the little um, spikes on the plant because they weren't really standing out and I think that's why I fell in love with these sort of coral because they have these little individual spikes on them that just made them stand out and look pretty. And did I really miss out a spike? Yeah, yes I did. I just went in and finished it. And I think I should have gone over each brick again. Maybe in the next video I'm just gonna paint and then do the line art to the end. But then I just wanted to take a picture of the line art. Now we're coming to the end of the video. I hope you like it. And I hope you like it.